Hey everybody, this is Miss Madeline and today I am bringing you a story called The Snowflake and this is a water cycle story. The Snowflake is by Neil Waldman. Let's check it out. January. On a moonless night, a tiny snowflake fell from a great gray cloud. It floated slowly downward with thousands of other flakes coming to rest on the jagged peak of a mountain. February. A wind whistled over the mountain, carrying the snowflake back up into the air. The snowflake twisted and spun, swirling into a pond on the mountainside. The snowflake melted into a droplet, but as the days grew colder, the pond froze. March. As the sun grew warmer, the ice began to melt. The snowflake became a droplet of water once again. It fell through a crack in the rocky pond bottom and trickled down into the ground. Downward it sank into the blackness within the mountain. Along with millions of other droplets, it splashed into an underground stream that flowed deep into the earth. April. After a long journey, the stream turned upward, bubbling through the ground in an icy spring. Sparkling in the sunlight, the droplet rushed into a brook. It danced around some stones, spilled over a waterfall, and surged into a raging river. The droplet flowed past villages and cities, under a great gray bridge where cars and buses carried people to and fro. May. A shiny metal pump sucked the droplet through a maze of zigzagging pipes into the irrigation system of a nearby farm. It spun through a long rubber hose, swished into a spinning sprinkler, and squirted up into the air. The droplet flew in a great arc, landing at last on the leaf of a cabbage plant. June. In the chill of morning, a heavy blanket of fog rolled in over the farm. The droplet slowly evaporated and floated up into the thick grayness. But soon the rising sun began to bake the air as the fog rose high into the sky and became a cloud. July. The cloud joined a mass of darkening storm clouds. Lightning flashed, thunder rumbled, and a torrent of raindrops dived toward the earth. The droplet rocketed downward and splashed into the clear waters of a reservoir. It was sucked through a series of filters that removed all the dirt particles until only pure water remained. August. The droplet swished through a long metal pipe. It was pumped into a smaller pipe and then into an even smaller pipe where it suddenly stopped and started and stopped and started again in herky jerky motions. September. In her bathroom, a young girl twisted a faucet and the droplet poured out into a bathroom sink. The girl dipped her hands into the water and lifted the droplet onto her cheek. A second later, it was falling, 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 splashing, swishing, spinning through the drain into another dark pipe. October. After a long, dark journey, the droplet poured out into the ocean. It flowed past fields of waving seagrass, over corals of many colors, and into the mouth of a great striped fish. Passing through the fish's body, the droplet returned to the sea. November. 
rising up to the ocean's surface, the droplet was pulled steadily toward the shore. On the crest of a mighty wave, it bubbled into foam, crashing onto the sandy beach of a tropical island. December. In the sunlight of a winter's morning, the droplet evaporated. It rose into the air, entering a great gray cloud. A whistling wind pushed the cloud across the sea, past cities and towns, beyond an icy spring, over a raging river. It drifted past a waterfall and a frozen pond. On a moonless night, a tiny snowflake fell from the cloud. It floated slowly downward with thousands of other flakes coming to rest on the jagged peak of a mountain. The end. Thank you for joining me today for The Snowflake, a water cycle story. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you see some snowflakes this winter. Bye! <laughs>